My name is Kira and I'm 21 years old. I've just finished my university degree in uh, business and human resource management. I've decided that this summer while I'm sort of searching for a full-time job, I'm going to try vlog my summer and especially my adventures with my horse Sammy as I plan to get up to a lot of things this summer with him. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> introduce is Toby. <laughs> this is Toby. He's um, one of my first pets that I got. <laughs> Toby is a wide haired dash hound cross with Parsons Jack Russell. He's now, uh, he's going to be 13 years old this year. I've had him for, since he was a little puppy, so I've had him for quite some time. I got him when I first lived in Sweden, same with Lizzie. I both got them when I lived in Sweden. Um, Toby is probably the sweetest little dog I've ever had. He's such a friendly little guy. He's Spends way of the day now just sleeping. He's just laid down. Um, but he's very playful and he's a super sweet dog, like I said. He gets along with everyone, loves everyone and everything. Yeah. The reason I got him was just because as a kid I kept asking my parents constantly, uh, begging them for a dog, and then finally they let me get Toby. <laughs> is Lizzie. She is my other little dog. This is her here. Uh, Lizzie is a cross between a Chinese crested and a long head dash hound and papillon. She is, I think she's 11 or 12 years old now. I got her a few months after I got Toby because I wanted a friend for him. Um, she's quite a special little dog. She has, because she is crossed with a um, Chinese crested, she has got a naked tummy so she hasn't got any fur under there but apart from that she's all fluffy over on the rest of her body. She is, she's a bit special, she doesn't really, um, she's a bit nervous of a lot of people and she kind of just sticks by me most of the time. She just isn't the bravest of dogs, she's quite a scary little cat. Um, she kind of spends her, most of her day just following Toby around because uh, she's, she's, without him she's kind of a bit lost and a bit scared of everything. Um, if it's, she's not following him around, she's always following me. Um, but apart from that, that's pretty much everything about little Lizzie. Uh, she also gets called little Lulu a lot. The dog is Tia. She is a white German Shepherd. She was actually originally my mum's sister's dog, my auntie's, um, but she had to immigrate out to Australia. So as she couldn't bring tea with her, we decided that we would have her. She is very playful. Uh, she's about, I think she's 12 years old now. She's very fluffy. <laughs> uh, Tia got very, very attached to me and my mum when she first arrived. She's quite a special dog, really. Um, she's very small for being a German Shepherd. As you can see, she's quite, she's quite little. Uh, she loves playing, loves going for runs and walks, loves cuddling, but she does go quite hyper and a bit crazy at times. But she's, she's a nice dog. She's very well behaved. She can be outside loose and everything. And she's a good little guard dog that we have as well. The next animal is Little Puss. Here he is. Here's Little Puss. Little Puss is like my little baby. He's such a little sweetie. He is a back black fluffy cat. I think he's about um, three or four years old now. I got them as him and his sister um, Luna as little kittens. His actual name is Stewie, but we just call him Little Puss. This is very clingy to me since uh, when um, when I first got them as kittens. They were still very, very young. They were kind of just rescue kittens. Um, they were found out on the sort of on someone's farm, and they couldn't find the mum, so we decided to take them in. So he's sort of very. He sees me as his mum, I guess, kind of. Um, always trying to get out. So he's, he's very. He's such a sweetie. We all love him so much. He's so, so cuddly. He's super fluffy. Hey, little puss. So 
so this here is Roxy, also known as Manky Cat. She's just laying down. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure how old she is, I'll have to check, but she's probably about sort of 12, 13 or something like that. Um, she was actually originally my cousin's cat, however her and Binks, they came to live with us when she um, decided to emigrate to Australia to live with her mum, the auntie that we got Tia from. So here she is. So this here is Binks, he's just eating at the minute. So Binks is the other cat that I got from my cousin along with Roxy and he is a grey cat. He is probably one of the biggest cats of ours. Here he is. <laughs> I'll let him eat now. So to find the last cat that we own, um, Little Weirdo or Luna, we have to come outside because she mainly lives out here. She's kind of like a stable yard cat and um, just because some of the other cats bully her. So you're nearly always guaranteed to find her out here somewhere. She quite likes the weather at the minute because it's quite sunny. So I just found her here in the hay barn and she's always, <laughs> this cat here is not ours. Um, I don't know who he is, but he's just always in here with Little Weirdo. <laughs> so this is a Little Weirdo. She is Little Puss's sister. So she's the same age as Little Puss. I think they're about four or five years old. I can't quite remember. Um, she's very, very small. She's the tiniest little cat we have. <laughs> um, she's always out here in the hay barn. But she's super, super tiny. The tiniest little cat I've known. She's quite, she's very sweet actually, but she just doesn't really come inside much. She only comes in to eat some food. In the winter she'll um, sleep indoors if it's really cold, but otherwise she just stays out here. There she is. So I'm just in our little shed now in the garden by the stables and in the shed I have my guinea pigs. I used to have about sort of 50 of them. I only have about 10 now as I decided that it was just easier having less of them and I could I still breed a few of them but not quite as many. Um, however I do currently have actually 13 babies. I think there's about 10 adults at the minute so I'll just kind of do a quick show of them all. I won't go exactly through exactly who's who because it'll take a little while. <laughs> I do also own a wild guinea pig, also known as a Brazilian cavi. I imported them from Czechoslovakia uh, about two years ago now, I think. I do only have one left. I bred them on a very, very small scale. As they got older, a few of them died, and then I just sort of decided to not breed them anymore. So I've just got this one boy left. He kind of just lives on his own because he doesn't get along with anyone else. So I've just headed down to the stables, as you can see. So off, because I'm going to ride Sammy myself, but while I'm down here, I'll do an introduction of all the horses that we've got. So I'll first show you the ones that are in the stables at the minute. So this is Oliver. So Oliver is one of my sister's horses. He is a five-year-old. Um, I can't pronounce his full name. It's really weird. If I remember, I'll write it down below here, but it's like impossible to pronounce. Um, so he is, can't see him there, Oliver! Uh, so Oliver is very big, he's probably about, I don't know, over 17 hands. She competes him up to about, well she's recently done some 115 so she wants to do some 120 soon. Um, he's a really good jumper, he's just a bit grumpy. Next horse that's in at the minute is little Harley. Her show name is Harley Queen. She is, she's my horse or one of my horses, and she is a six-year-old. I got her about about sort of a month or two ago, so I've not had her that long. She is a cute little, like 
15 one ish um sort of a liver chestnut color she's got very very ginger mane probably not showing up very well i'll show her later when she's out um but yeah so she's lovely she's completed up to 120 as a five-year-old she's now six like i said um i've done 190 on her and i'm hoping to do some more um but at the minute my sister's just competing her for me just to get her sort of She's now eating my gloves in my pocket. <laughs> my sister's just completing that for me at the minute just to sort of uh, get her back into it and sort of help me produce her because she's still only a youngster. So the next horse here is little Finn. He's quite small again. He's about 16 one I guess. He is my sister's other horse. He is actually only a four year old. <laughs> He's still very young. He's um, she's sort of just wanting to produce and then sell on. He's actually currently up for sale. Um, he's a really lovely little horse, super friendly. Um, he's also very, very cute. He's got a great little jump on him. Just needs a little bit more experience and then he'll be out competing lies. I've just taken his fly mask off so you can see his face a little bit better. He's super cute. Uh, so this is little Finn. Big Timothy. Finn. So I just put Harley out in the field. There she is. You can see her colour a bit better now. See that ginger, oh, very, very orange ginger mane of hers. She's very cute though, such a sweet little horse, very, actually very kind and cuddly. One of the next horses that we have is Tilly, um, her name is Ophelia something, once again I can't pronounce it, here she is, she's a bit bigger she is, um, once again she's one of my sister's horses, she is I think probably about only 17 hands, she's pretty big, another very sweet horse, she's also five year old, um, my sister has a three five-year-olds and four-year-olds, so she's got all youngsters. So she's very sweet. She is. She's competed her up to about, um, I think she's do it done one tens on her, so she's a nice little horse, or big horse, shall I say. And uh, she'll be, uh, once again, like Finn, just producing her to sell. So this here is Foley. He is also my sister's horse. Um, his actual name is Jammy Dodger. Uh, the reason he's called Foley is because we bred him out of our mare Queenie, um, who unfortunately we had to have to put to sleep a little while back. Um, he is a chestnut five year old now. He was born on my birthday, so 28th of March. Got a very good jump on him, and he's uh, turning out to be a lovely horse. Thank you, Foley. I'm not quite sure how big he is. His not quite as big as Tilly or Sammy, but he's sort of probably about 16, 16 ish And last but not least, we have Sammy. So this here is Sammy, looking a little bit grumpy. Uh, so Sammy is my main horse. He is a seven-year-old Irish sports horse. Um, probably got a bit of Irish draft in him because he is pretty chunky and big. He's about 17 hands, I think. Um, we haven't quite measured him properly, but he is pretty big. I mean, it's probably one of the sweetest, most loving horses I've ever met. Although at the minute he looks a bit grumpy and tired because I just bought him in from the grass and he wanted to eat. So I'm hoping to do quite a lot with Sammy this summer. Um, I mainly want to do uh, British show jumping, but we're also going to do some cross country and a little bit of everything and see what other adventures we um, go on. He is not, when I bought Sammy, I, well, I sold my show jumper star to buy another show jumper. Um, and I ended up buying Sammy and unfortunately he didn't quite turn out as good of a show jumper as I thought he was going to be. So it's been quite a long journey. We've had to completely retrain him. So I've only just sort of, the, re the last couple of months is I've only just started competing him again and taking him out because before that he just... It was kind of pointless because he didn't really know how to jump properly and um, he just knocked pretty much every single jump. But he's a lot better now, he's still got a lot of work to do, um, so we'll just have to see how far we can go. But I'm not going to put too much pressure on him because he's a, he's a sweet boy and I just want to have fun with him, that's the main aim. Just to, he's such a loving and caring horse, so we'll see, we'll see what we can do together. Hey? Sammy's, um, passport name is Samson Gray the second I'm not quite sure why that's his name um, but like I said he's from Ireland seven years old and he's a bit of a big boy he's a huge I don't think you can really see his size properly but he's big he's a big boy I hope you enjoyed
of the video um, showing all the animals I own currently and I hope you want to follow my journey with Sammy he's just standing over there eating some grass like usual I'll try vlog as much as I can I'm gonna do a vlog tomorrow actually because we're going to a competition and then um, I think I'm gonna go down to Cambridge to do some shopping as well if there's any particular videos or anything that you'd like to see just comment down below and let me know Bill Finn's just gonna finish off the video here with me um, so Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!